Hi, I'm Patty Duffner and welcome to my home. I'm the host of Rick Rack and I'm here today to share with you how to make this easy spring runner. It's reversible and it also has a bunch of different fabrics down here, like it's similar to a patchwork type of runner. It's the perfect way to welcome your guests into your home as well as welcoming spring into your home. Come with me into the kitchen and we are going to make this simple table runner. Welcome to my kitchen. This is where I sew every day. It's the heart of the home. I keep my sewing machine set up at the end of our kitchen table so that it's always accessible to me even if I have 20 minutes or 20 seconds to get something done then it's just always up in the kitchen I have the ability to do that I want to share with you how to make that table runner first you want to pick out your fabrics and I chose all printed fabrics I just want this to be a fun spring table runner and not feel the need to matchy matchy all the fabrics. I just love all the new fabrics that are out so I just wanted to use them. So I picked my four favorites for this and then my main fav favorite for the body. What you want to do is cut your strips three inches wide by thirteen and a half inches long. You will need two of each one. The other fabric that you want to cut is the body fabric. Cut it thirteen and a half inches wide by the length of the fabric. This fabric came 54 inches. So I'm just going to be happy with, with that, that length right there. It just makes things a little bit more simple. I keep the fabric folded in half when I make my cuts. Make sure it's all lined up on this nice self-healing mat with all the grids. Let's get over there to the sewing machine so that we can start getting all this sewn together. We're going to take the fabrics, the smaller three inch pieces, we are going to sew them right sides together. I'm using quarter inch seam allowance on everything, regular sewing foot. You want to open it up, put your next fabric right sides together. lay it down. I'm not pinning this right now. I feel like it's a really short, short job right here. It's really something I can guideline together. You know me, I don't have a lot of time. I, I really pin when I need to, when it's going to save me time in the end, but this is going to be so simple that you won't need to pin this part. I like to just sew right off the edge. So you're going to be re repeating that again with the next one. So here we go, right sides together. We're going to sew down the one side so that we continue with this stripe. We're going to iron this now. I like to sew, iron, sew, iron. It just kind of sets the threads. It also makes this piece that we just sewed the exact measurement that we need to complete this project. I like to iron it on both sides. Just press the seams really flat down in there and then press it on this side. Now we're going to take this piece. If you wanted to do two right now, that probably would be smart. Make two of these right now so then you could attach both to the bodies and then you'll be completed with the top side. So take them and come on over here and we're going to prep the body so then it's ready to be sewn together. I'm going to cut off the salvage, line it up, be sure to press really hard on here. And we're going to cut off that salvage. Now we're going to take our body, I'm going to call this the body, it's the 13 and a half inches wide and we are going to sew on our striped panel. Here we go, attaching it to the body. Just have the 
body here and then the stripes right here. Now we're going to attach the body to the back. This is what makes it reversible as well as just gives it more of a finished edge. We've got our backing fabric. We've lined it up here on, on the grid at the bottom. You never want to assume that the fabric store has cut it straight for us. So I'm going to just get a good inch off. Just to have a nice clean line. After we cut the straight line, what we want to do is get it 13 and a half inches wide because we know that's what our body is. What's nice about this Fisker's ruler is that it has the half inch shaded in for us. This is the first time I've ever used something like this and it's kind of fun. A lot of things you do add a half an inch to because you take a quarter inch off each side, then you have your finished measurement of what you actually want. So the quarter inches is that seam allowance we were talking about. So it's kind of fun to have this shaded in there, then you know, I want my actual piece to end up being 13. So when we cut it, we're going to cut it 13 and a half. This is a, a very smart ruler. I, I really truly believe that a lot of tools help you get the job done right. So if you have the right tools, cutters, cutting mat, iron sewing machine, all those tools that you need, if you have the right ones, then that will help you get the job done a lot easier. Now we're going to open this up. I haven't cut the ends yet because we're not quite there yet. So we're going to open this up on my cutting table. We're going to put the right sides together. It should be the exact same width with the cutting mat and the ruler that makes it real simple. We're going to stretch it out. Let me show you why I didn't worry about cutting it because it, it doesn't quite reach that. This was longer fabric to begin with. So which is nice for me because if some, somewhere my seams were not quite perfect, this is more flexible. So we're going to lay it out. What we're going to do is now I'm breaking out the pens because I really feel like this needs to be pinned in order to just get a perfect runner. After we have it all pinned up, this is the edge I was talking about before, how it's a little over, a little over too much. So we're going to take it back to our cutting area. And we're going to square that up. Make sure you line up your fabric with the lines on the grid. And you always know everything is square. Then the lines on the ruler, the grid should line up as well. Want to do it on both sides so that you have a real clean finished edge. Now we're going to go back to the sewing machine and we're going to finish this project up. What we're going to do first is sew down both sides that we pinned. So we're not going to sew close the two short sides. We're going to sew down the two long sides. Pulling out the pins as we go along. After you've completed sewing up the two long sides, you're going to reach your hand in and pull it through, just like a pillowcase. So then you're reaching in and you're pulling out to the right side. And to finish this, what you want to do is to take the two short edges and sew them shut. Tuck them into each other and sew them shut. So the back side is sewn shut and then the front side is shut. I hope you've enjoyed this simple spring runner. 
It is something you could probably do in an afternoon or an evening right when the kids go to bed just to get it done. It's something that makes me smile every time I walk in the front door, and I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm Patty Duffner, and thank you for watching Rick Rack.